Hi there, Simon from SimonWizard.com and happy World Malbec Day. It is World Malbec Day. Look, I, I know I've got Wikipedia here. World Malbec Day, celebrated on April the 17th to commemorate the day when President Domingo Faustino Sarmiento of Argentina officially made it his mission to transform Argentina's wine industry. On that day, back in 1853, he tasked Michel Aimé Pouget, a French soil expert, to bring over new vines among his selection was a Malbec dot dot dot. Uh, so I think they first did World Malbec Day in 2011. Actually, they didn't. They didn't do it in, first in 2011. In 2011, they did not World Malbec Day, but Malbec World Day. Um, and it's important that we call it Malbec World Day rather than World Malbec Day because otherwise we will get confused. Um, I must admit Malbec World Day. It sounds like, uh, oh, welcome to Malbec World, a new theme park celebrating all things Malbecine. Shall I just shut up? And I've got a couple of Malbecs here uh, to present to you on this uh, April the 17th, 2014. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I filmed this ever so slightly earlier, but don't tell anyone. Um, I've got uh, one from Argentina, uh, but I've got one from over the Andes in Chile. But I'm going to do the Argentinian one first, um, and that is Trapiche Argentina Pure Malbec from the Valdeuco, and it's 2013. Let's just give this a whirl. And this is what we love about Malbec. Young, crunchy, blackberry, um, floral, perfumed, black currants. Um, it just smells like a, a lovely gush. Of, it smells like a winery at vintage time. It's got that headiness in the air and uh, it, it just feels like you want to almost have a pint pot and just go, ah, ah, ah. Um, often I find that, uh, uh, there, well, many wineries in Argentina, I actually prefer the cheapest wine uh, to uh, the most expensive. It feels like that, that's just that, that lovely, honest gush of fruit, whereas the ones at the top, they're almost trying too hard. For me, the best wineries are the ones where you actually, they get better as you get, as the bottles get heavier and uh, uh, the wines get more expensive. But here, it smells young, good, young, crunchy, just what I want from, um, from Malbec. It's a touch jammy. But it's got those lovely, bouncy, tigger-like Malbec flavours that I want. Um, and uh, bring out your barbecue sausages and, uh, and just slaver over your uh, baked mushrooms and uh, drink a lot of that and, um, and enjoy it. Let's see what chilli can do in comparison. Uh, so this uh, one is a secret, secret, uh, de vieux manent. Uh, from Colchagua in Chile, um, Malbec dot dot dot. Apparently the dot 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 is because uh, only 85% of it, around 85% of it, is Malbec. Uh, but they're not letting on what the other 15% uh, is. But um, uh, a year older, a year wiser, uh, let's have a see. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I stick my nose in there and it's got that... Um, uh, ever so slightly pongy, eggy edge uh, of when reduction's gone that little bit too far and it's actually uh, closed in on itself and has, uh, uh, has started to make the wine taste awkward, spiky, difficult. Uh, I've got a feeling that if I were to give it more agitation, it would still be there. Um, mm, I'll taste it. Yeah, that sulfury, coffee-edged. Uh, I... It's a secret that maybe I don't want to know too much about, um, which is a shame because uh, Chile has some terrific Malbec and it's got uh, some of its best ones can uh, 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 can uh, more than hold their own against uh, against their their chums over the Andes. Uh, but the Trapiche is the class act of these two. Um, so enjoy World Malbec Day or Malbec World Day or Day Malbec World or whatever you want to call it. But make sure you drink some Malbec today. See you soon.